For today's video, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung mga topics na naidiscuss sa amin ng grade 10, specifically sa math subject, mula first quarter to fourth quarter. So, ishare ko muna ito ng mabilis. Nag-grade 10 ako ng school year 2020-2021 at alam nyo na ito ay time ng pandemic. Hanggang ngayon naman, sadly, ay pandemic pa din. Bawal pa din lumabas and all at napilitan pa din na ituloy ang classes for school year 2020-2021. And may different ways na binigay kung paano tayong students matututo this time of pandemic. May modular distance learning, online distance learning, and TV or radio-based instruction. So, ako ay nag-decide ng grade 10 na mag-online distance learning na lang. So, dito yung makakakuha pa din ng students ng instructions from their teachers at makakapag-lesson pa din ang mga teachers using different platforms gaya ng Google Meet, Zoom, at iba pa without needing the students to be physically present in a classroom. At habang nag online class ako, napansin ko na may mga times na kinocompress na lang yung mga topics and lessons na naka-assign halimbawa sa week na yun. Oh, no! Kaya madaming parts ng kada lesson ang nalalaktawan compared sa mga lessons na na-discuss sa ibang grade 10 students nung face-to-face -face classes pa nila. At understandable naman na may mga topics talaga na kailangan laktawan kasi hindi naaabot sa allotted time na binigay kung lahat-lahat ng topics ay i-discuss lalo na at complicated pa ang ating learning setup. At isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit ko ginawa itong video na to is to help incoming grade 10 students to have a background sa mga topics na i-discuss sa inyo mula first to fourth quarter sa mathematics subject. Makakatulong talaga to sa inyo lalo na ngayong bakasyon, pwede kayong mag-advance review at pagdating ng pasokan, hindi na kayo malilito sa mga lessons na i-discuss sa inyo ng mga math teacher nyo. Kasi kahit pa paano, nag-effort na kayo na magbasa-basa and mag-solve ng problems regarding sa mga topics na babanggitin ko na kailangan nyo talaga alamin. So, per quarter nga pala ay may total tayo of 8 weeks. Kaya itong mga topics na babanggitin ko, is babanggitin ko na din kung anong week sa amin diniscuss. Kasi baka ganitong-ganito din ang mga topics na i-discuss sa inyo per week. Mula first to fourth quarter. Without further ado, these are the math topics that will be discussed to you pagdating mo ng grade 10. I advise you to take down notes to the topics that I'm about to say. The math topics discussed to us for first quarter of week 1 is sequence, week 2 is arithmetic sequence, week 3 to week 4 is geometric sequence, week 5 is application of sequence, then my word problems na then involving sequences, week 6 I division of polynomials, Week 7, Factoring Polynomials Week 8, Polynomial Equations and Problem Solving Involving Polynomial Equations Pagdating naman sa second quarter ay Week 1 to Week 2 ay Polynomial Functions Week 3 to Week 4 ay Circle and Other Related Terms Week 5 to Week 6 ay Seconds, Tangents, Segments and Sectors of a Circle Week 7 to week 8 ay using the distance formula in proving geometric properties and center radius form of the equation of the circle. Pagdating naman sa third quarter, ang mga topics na diniscuss ng week 1 ay permutation, week 2 ay combination, week 3 ay combination formula, week 4 ay permutation and combination problems, week 5 ay union and intersection of events, Week 6, determining the probability of a union of two events. Week 8 naman ay mutually exclusive events and word problems involving probability. Pagdating naman ng fourth quarter, ang week 1 ay illustration of measures of position which are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Week 2, calculating a measure of position, grouped and ungrouped data. Week 3, interpreting measures of position. 
Week 4, Solving Problems Involving Measures of Position. Week 5 to 6, Conducting a Statistical Mini-Research. Tapos, nag-identify din ng sampling techniques, measures of central tendency, and variability. Week 7 to 8, ay Analyzing and Interpreting Data. Gumamit ng mga appropriate measures of position and other statistical methods in analyzing and interpreting research data. Those are all the topics na diniscuss sa amin. Ayun, madami-dami din na task na pinagawa. Pinagawa din kami ng portfolio, saka mini research paper, tapos may online recitation, and madami pang iba. Alam ko namang kayang-kaya niya yan. Kung iisipin talaga ay may mga pagka-complex talaga yung ibang topics, but pag binasa nyo, nang binasa at nagsimula kayo mag-solve, hindi na kayo malilito. Hindi ko na dito sinama yung tips for incoming grade 10 students kasi gagawa naman ako ng hiwalay na video na yun, kaya huwag kayo magkagila. If may other video recommendations kayo, do not hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. Please be aware din na may mga possibility na may konting pagkakaiba yung magiging topics nyo sa topics na diniscuss sa amin dahil depende yun sa school na pinapasukan nyo at depende din yun sa mga teachers nyo. Yun lang guys, sana natulungan ko kayo at suggestion ko magsimula na kayo mag-advance review after panoodin itong video na to. And thank you for watching! This is a This is a This is a